The life that we might know, as long as we live, is a dynamic life. A busy life with the hustle and bustle of various activities every day. High mobility and intense interactions with others are common and become an inherent part of everyday life. School, as an educational institution, is a place where students learn, do activities, interact, and socialize. The dynamic has been there for centuries. Kinderfield Highfield School believes that the education that students experience will have a significant influence on how they will live their lives and contribute to their life goals and the environment. We value and offer exceptional academics in a warm and supportive environment. We nurture and challenge our students to explore their potentials and pursue their passions. China has identified the cause of the mysterious pneumonia outbreak in Wuhan. The World Health Organization has officially called it COVID-19. Dua warga Indonesia yang positif terinfeksi virus corona disebut telah melakukan kontak dengan warga negara Jepang. Berlakunya pembatasan sosial berskala besar di wilayah daerah khusus ibu kota Jakarta. Little did we imagine that the COVID-19 virus pandemic would suddenly occur and change so many things in life in the world, including shifting the process of education and school activities. Of course, Kinderfield Highfield School in Indonesia was also affected by the situation. There are many concerns about health, safety, and what the future will be like. Then, a big question arises. Will this school be able to adapt to the sudden change and survive in providing the best education for all students? Saudara mulai Jumat 10 April 2020, pemerintah Provinsi DKI Jakarta menerapkan pembatasan sosial berskala besar atau PSBB di berbagai sektor. Membuat kebijakan tentang proses belajar dari rumah bagi pelajar dan mahasiswa. Dengan kondisi ini, saatnya kita kerja dari rumah, belajar dari rumah, ibadah di rumah. As a step to reduce the spread of the coronavirus, the central and local governments have imposed social restriction rules, which include the closure of face-to-face -face school activities. This certainly greatly affects the dynamics of community activities, especially families where children have to do school activities from home. Jujur pertama kali ya worry ya worry itu udah pasti saya ada kekhawatiran anak saya nanti bisa nggak ya dia gitu terus juga selain itu juga lebih ke sistemnya gimana seperti apa ya pertama pasti pertanyaan di kepala saya banyak lah gitu ya lebih ke kira-kira kayak apa sih belajarnya kan biasanya dia pergi sekolah ini kan harus di rumah Terus saya peralatan apa yang harus saya siapkan gitu? Saya sadar juga kan bahwa kalau kita bekerja dari rumah pun juga misalnya ada meeting, ada rapat atau apa selalu online gitu ya. Mungkin juga orang juga harus beradaptasi. Tapi itu kan orang dewasa. Sedangkan ini anak kecil, bagaimana dia bisa menggunakan laptop, komputer, kemudian masuk keluar dari meetingnya terus. Uh, ya itu mungkin yang lebih saya pikirkan teknisnya ya gitu teknis pelaksanaannya uh, mungkin ya kedua dan ketiganya tuh uh, lebih pada saat dia p uh, one nya saya berpikir juga gimana dia ada nanti ada akan ada lebih ada tes ujian ada uh, pekerjaan rumah assignment kemudian uh, ya hal-hal yang mungkin bisa dilakukan kalau face to face misalnya kayak pelajaran olahraga misalnya atau uh, ya paling tidak mungkin bermain dengan teman-temannya juga sih merasa bersyukur sekali karena uh, di saat pandemi anak-anak uh, bisa belajar dari rumah uh, dan saya sebagai ibu pekerja juga bisa uh, yang 
kalaupun anak-anak tadinya tidak belajar di rumah, saya tidak bisa mengawasi, tidak bisa mengantar jemput. Jadi rasa khawatir saya besar sekali untuk untuk itu ya di saat pandemi ini. Nah, uh, saya sangat bersyukur sekolah mengadakan uh, pembelajaran di rumah karena kalau anak saya tertular virus dan bagaimana saya tidak ada di sampingnya, nah itu itu yang membuat saya khawatir. Makanya saya bersyukur setelah mereka belajar di rumah. Lega, Miss. Relief. Karena di awal pandemi, kita berada di situasi yang nggak pasti. Jadi ketika pemerintah waktu itu memutuskan untuk PSBB, kami sebagai orang tua merasa ya, khususnya merasa lega. Karena saya rasa itu adalah keputusan terbaik yang diambil pemerintah dan sekolah demi keselamatan anak-anak. Reaksi kita pertama kali mengetahui bahwa anak kita mesti belajar di rumah itu pastinya kaget Karena kita sebagai orang tua tidak ada persiapan apapun Untungnya dari pihak sekolah persiapannya lumayan cepat Jadi pas masuk term 4, setiap anak diberikan satu kids box yang berisi tentang materi selama pembelajaran dalam satu term Jadi kita sebagai orang tua itu terbantu banget Jadi setiap hari kita cukup cukup mempersiapkan materi dalam box itu. Well, when I knew that the students had to study from home, at the beginning I felt quite nervous. There were several questions came up in my mind. Are they able to study at home consistently without direct assistance from the teachers? How can we help them? And what can we do to keep engaging with the parents and students? Actually, we had predicted that it would eventually happen considering the development of the situation at the time. Um, still, when the time came and we had to face the reality, we didn't have enough time to process it properly. I remember what comes up to my mind at the time was, okay, so how are we going to conduct this? Okay, we are shocked about uh, the pandemic. But we are sure that we have a lot of teachers that support us and we have also have a help from head office to support our learning program. So we are not worried about the situation at that time and we believe we can handle the situation. At first I was apprehensive because I wasn't sure that we could get everything in time for the new term. But uh, we took it as a challenge so uh, we were able to get expedite everything and get things done in time for the new term and start our online learning. Conditions that have caused drastic changes to the education process of children in Indonesia, including Kinderfield Highfield students, force schools to make quick adjustments and try to make smooth transitions so that the learning process continues. The Kinderfield Highfield head office immediately issued a number of necessary policies regarding home learning. When we found out that the students will have to learn from home, uh, we were definitely alarmed. But as we had been seeing the trend from all around the world and with lockdowns everywhere, we were aware that closing the schools uh, was something that we had to do. Um, we had been set up contingency plans in advance, should worse come to worst. Uh, we only had a short time to get everything ready, but uh, we managed to set up the home learning policy as well as the program and, and the instruments. It was basically decided with two goals set in our mind. Um, teacher and student interaction in a distant learning environment and the fine-tuning of the curriculum. We must ensure that all of our students can experience the least changes as possible as compared to their normal face-to-face -face learning. Um, we also understand some limitations can occur when students learn from home. That's why we need to set up reasonable curriculum goals for all of our students without compromising their interests and the quality of education itself. Other essential areas such as learning platform preparation, um, teachers upgrade, um, trainings, and parents' online adaptation were arranged simultaneously based on the main goals that we have been set. 
Each Kinderfield Highfield school took technical preparations to facilitate online learning. When it was decided that the students had to study from home, we immediately discussed to set smart target, a specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound which is suitable with the conditions during pandemic. We adjust our previous target, but at the same time, we also maintain learning quality. Well, of course, we have to move really fast. We had lots of coordination meetings with all stakeholders, be it the head office, uh, leaders, teachers, and of course, parents. And I think we all agree that this is one of the greatest changes that we've ever had to deal with. And we don't have any other options, so I understand many of us must feel worried with all the uncertainties. So we have to show our unite front, keep calm, and prepare ahead as best as we can to make sure everything can run well. There are a lot of things that we need to prepare. First of all, we need uh, the student to have the proper uh, account for the Google Meet and the Google Classroom. So we make all the children uh, email address using the school uh, email. And then we also prepare with the Google Classroom. And then we also train the teachers. And before we do the online learning, we have a trial for the student to submit their assignment to Google Classroom. The preparation that we did was uh, we had to set up the class in such a way that it caters to online learning. Uh, we make sure that parents have the uh, material needed for online learning. We also prepared a lot of learning material in a box sent out to our parents. That's what we did. In the beginning of the online learning, the school made sure that we gave the peer guidance to the parents so that they got a better picture of the home learning. And of course, before that, we also ensured that we prepared the detailed guidance, framework, and SOP for our staff and teachers. I believe good preparation and detailed planning is one of the key for this to work out. So choosing the most effective learning platforms is essential, as well as reducing the learning workload to suit the situation at the time, which is in a state of emergency. Then, within only a really short amount of time, we have to be able to master the platforms that we're going to use, train the teachers, um, preparing guidelines and assistance for our parents so they can support their children in learning, especially the young ones, and also guide the students step by step until they know how to familiarize themselves with online learning method properly. The head office intensively conducted coordination meetings and online briefings with all Kinderfield Highfield school managements for the commencement of online learning. Teacher trainings related to online learning techniques were also held intensively. The teachers try to make optimal efforts in preparing for online learning, both in terms of preparation of teaching materials, readiness of tools and technology, and visual display. Online learning or the home learning program begins as of March 2020. In the beginning of the home learning process, various challenges and obstacles began to appear one after another. So our teachers are technologically knowledgeable. Uh, using new application is still a struggle for everyone. So like we have internet connection, lack of devices uh, that projects good quality or good outcome uh, are some difficulties we work on just to deliver the home learning program in the best way possible. The obstacle that we have, uh, it will be the internet connection and then the device. Not all the teachers have the good internet connection at home. And not all the teachers have a proper device to handle with the online learning. The biggest obstacles that we faced initially was internet connection. We, uh, it was very hard for us because when we first started our online learning, a lot of, uh, a lot of the time 
the internet would drop and we couldn't carry on with the material that we had to deliver. So it was very hard for teacher because we have to re-establish the engagement with our students to get them back and focus to the material that we are learning. So that was uh, the biggest obstacle that we faced at that point. Um, well, actually, I like to think this condition as a blessing in disguise. For long, we've been trying to encourage the culture of lifelong learners for our school and teachers to upgrade their skills vigorously. So during the first weeks of the home-based learning, our teachers realized that in order to survive this, we have to adapt really fast. Not just for us, but uh, most importantly for the sake of our students. That sense of urgency forced us to suddenly have to be able to become a tech savvy, um, researching lots of learning methods that can be used effectively for uh, online class settings, methods that can give variety of activities that can improve students' engagement in learning. Suddenly, um, teachers must let out all of the roles that comes up with being a professional educators. Uh, they have to become a storyteller, a singer, a comedian, a magician, a scientist, um, a YouTuber maybe. Um, mostly becoming an, an entertainer and many more. So we are taking full advantages of online learning. as a teacher when doing this home learning is first uh, how can I transfer my knowledge to my students by using these kinds of platforms which is very new for them then the second one is uh, how about if my students still doesn't understand about the material so I really try my best to find any solutions uh, to make them easier because as we know that not all of our students especially kinderfield students uh, accompanied by their parents miss in home learning we had to interact virtually means we cannot observe the children closely so we have to deliver learning that involves all sensory of the children while doing the virtual learning we only uh, involved with their hearing and also um, visual, sensory. So we need the help from the parents at home to be their teacher so that we can reach the goal. Well, the first obstacle here is that we are still learning about the system. But of course, there are many ways for us to learn. We can always browse it in the internet and learn about the system. And we can use many applications or methods to make our online learning interesting and make students motivated. The second is our device. Before, our laptop is only used for simple Microsoft things. Googling, finding inspiration in YouTube, and our handphone is only used for sending message, making phone call, only simple things like that. But suddenly, our laptop and handphone also need to do something else beside that. They need to work a little different, joining Zoom or Google Meeting, and even video editing. The problem here is that not all of our gadgets are capable of doing that. The other obstacle is internet connection. Having good internet connection is important here because it's online learning. So, when the internet connection is bad, everything seems goes wrong because they can't see us or hear us clearly. Many parents experienced obstacles and challenges when assisting their children during the home learning program. There were times when parents felt that their children could not comprehend their lessons and they felt overwhelmed when assisting their children not to mention the technical or technological obstacles that were often encountered. Awal-awal mungkin ya hal-hal teknis lah, misalnya uh, internetnya mati atau laptopnya kelupaan di charge dan sebagainya ya, hal-hal teknis aja. Cuman 
um, along the way kalau misalnya pada saat dia sudah pindah ke P1 uh, mungkin kendalanya ada lagi adalah mungkin karena melalui uh, apa uh, metode online mungkin ada beberapa pelajaran yang mungkin dia akan uh, apa namanya akan bertanya lagi gitu ini saya tidak ngerti gitu lebih ke situ kali ya kalau yang lain-lainnya mungkin awal-awal tuh kalau ujian juga mungkin harus ada bantuan dari kita juga gitu karena Uh, kan harus difoto kemudian di upload gitu setelah yang di awal saya merasa bersyukur nah setelah itu muncul lah masalah-masalah itu tadi yang saya bilang uh, ternyata setelah belajar di rumah anak saya itu malah uh, gimana tidak bisa diatur uh, dia susah untuk fokus konsentrasi itu pasti dan dia merasa bebas dia merasa bebas dan uh, dia merasa lebih nyaman justru di rumah karena dia bisa suka bisa sambil main bisa sambil makan bisa sambil uh, simba kebetulan kan rumah kita nggak terlalu besar ya jadi anak saya itu kalau simbanya lagi masak dia suka ngintip-ngintip gitu ngambil makan dia makan padahal misnya lagi eh kamu belajar dulu saya bilang begitu ya mami gitu tapi sambil makan jadi depan misnya dia sambil makan sambil main aduh pusing saya nah itu awal tapi uh, Lama-kelamaan saya terbiasa, anaknya juga saya ini, saya dampingi, saya kasih arahan, saya bikin dia untuk bisa lebih lebih semangat untuk belajar di rumah, akhirnya teratasi juga. Kendala yang datang dari diri saya sendiri sih, Miss. Satu, pertama itu adalah penerimaan. Saya mesti nerima situasi yang nggak enak. Tapi saya yakin pasti itu dirasakan bukan hanya saya atau keluarga saya, tapi semua orang Jadi nggak ada pilihan sih harus dijalanin Setelah menerima itu tadi, bagaimana harus beradaptasi dengan cepat Sehingga yang saya pikirkan adalah mengatur waktu lagi dan mengatur prioritas Karena perannya sekarang berlapis-lapis bukan hanya double peran tapi triple malah sebagai orang tua sebagai pekerja juga dan sebagai guru merangkap kameramen gitu miss not only schools and parents have to adjust to the online learning methods students are probably the ones who feel the most impact from this online learning that we had to conduct e-learning, I honestly felt surprised, excited, and also delighted hearing the announcement. The idea of studying from home, sitting on my chair, in my room, was really exciting, and it was something I have never really experienced before. It was something new. I feel sad because I cannot meet my teacher and my friends in my school. I feel sad because I cannot meet my friends and teacher directly. Sometimes the internet connection is down and when I want to show something to my teacher, it's hard because it's a little bit blurry. What challenges and difficulties did I experience in the learning program? My internet connection. Sometimes my internet connection or my teacher's internet connection went wrong. It makes me really frustrated. And uh, my little sister, she always asks me to play. I cannot help it because she's so cute. So when I first started online school, uh, it felt kind of weird uh, and also challenging because uh, all of a sudden, every single like school activity, academic or non-academic, is somehow online soon afterwards. And you know, yeah, it's just, it was just very strange, you know, to like wake up in the morning and like what you need to go to do, sorry, what you need to do to go to school is just to wake up and just like sit by your bed or like sit in the chair right in front of you and just like turn on your laptop and so forth. Um, uh, the change itself, though surprising, wasn't really hard to adapt to. Like over time, like it became the norm and like everything just went out more smoothly than I thought. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, though there are some challenges that we face in online learning that sometimes you don't see in uh, physical real life learning, uh, such as, you know, I, I can't really ask the teachers uh, more, you know, more confidently or uh, I can't converse with my friends more often, especially during break times, you know, we're all just doing things by ourselves. Uh, but I guess a, a good thing that we had from online learning was uh, we get to wake up later than usual because we don't need to go to school physically. I think the most significant challenge faced by parents during home learning is how to supervise uh, their children during school hour. Based on my observation, students are not usually supervised or accompanied by parents or guardians. Maybe because their parents are also working during school hours, or the students themselves as teenagers are not willing to be supervised anymore. This situation makes it difficult for parents to make sure whether their children do spend their school hours only for studying or doing something else, such as visiting websites or playing with their gadgets. Well, um, I think our parents uh, got it hard the most as they must step up to the challenge of adding the teacher role to the already full list of hat that they've got to wear in a day. Um, therefore, we would like to take this opportunity also to extend our heartful gratitude to each of our parents for all of the dedication, patience, uh, diligence, support, and tender care that they have shown in taking the role of teacher in their homes. But the real warriors, of course, are beloved students. Sometimes we forgot to appreciate their resilience in coping with the situation. I can't imagine being them, uh, being in that age, they cannot go to school uh, or meet their friends, seeing their classmates and teachers only through computer screen. Some of them even haven't met their teachers in person. So I think losing that human touch is what impacted than the most. Learning online has its own limitation. Both students and teachers must work really hard to go through the learning session as best as they can. And we are more than willing to help them as much as we can. Schools certainly did not remain silent in facing the existing challenges. New policies were taken to strengthen synergy between schools and families. We realized as soon as we decided that home learning would be implemented, our biggest challenge would be on the adaptation. We understand that the online learning activity is not one that is seamless or can easily be done. And all of the school components, students, teachers, parents, have to adapt to the new technology, to the routines, and even to the uncertainty for how long will this be lasting. Um, what is next, and other unforeseen situations. Um, along the way, we have been learning from and evaluate the home learning program implementation in all areas possible. Um, for parents, we made sure that everything needed was ready and easily accessible. We set up follow-up parental guidance to help navigate the home learning with schools and the home learning kits to make sure that everything the students need for learning was ready to use uh, at home. And we also work together with parents to overcome the difficulties of accompanying their children uh, learning from home. For teachers, a rigorous series of upgrading and professional development were set to quickly get accustomed to the distant learning and to make the lesson interesting and uh, interactive even though through screens. All the needed platforms and technology were set up and basically ready to go. And for the students, we set up a flexible curriculum standard to cater the needs and also to enhance the development of all students uh, learning from home. And as time goes, uh, looking at the outcomes and the achievements of our students, 
we can probably say that our curriculum goals do not differ that much as compared to our normal face-to-face -face learning and on top of everything we always kept in mind that the mental health of the whole school community is very important especially in this challenging time um, constant talk and communications were done regularly and we are very grateful that our students teachers and parents have shown remarkable resilience in adapting to the new routines and tackled all the challenges. Rigorous family education and engaging activities are also carried out by each Kinderfield Highfield school to ensure students and families have a fun and meaningful learning experience, even if the process is done virtually. and engagements among students, uh, parents, and teachers during this pandemic is really important. So that's why we conduct interesting events and activities to keep the spirit and excitement of everyone to the online learning. Besides the annual events that we conduct virtually, we also invite the students to come to school to join the library drive through the drive-in learning, and the library with drive through And we're happy that we always get positive responses from the parents. One more thing, uh, we also regularly conduct some activities at the weekends in our social media, Instagram. And through these activities, uh, we give the parents and students an alternative to enjoy learning in different ways. We give a lot of uh, seminar, um, parent-focused discussion. We also have some uh, online program that students can follow on Saturday or on the weekends. Um, the, the point of this is to engage students, um, to get them involved in their learning so that they can internalize the material that we give out to the students and be able to use the, the info or the teaching that we give to them and make it um, useful for themselves. The purpose is to enrich the student with the new knowledge that they have and we also uh, prepare something for their parents also uh, to handle with the stress relief so they have a bit entertainment during the lesson. Every experience that arises is an input to continuously improve the quality of home learning as well as deepen the understanding and family involvement in learning. Menurut saya, kegiatan yang melibatkan orang tua itu sangat penting di masa pandemi ini. Contohnya, kegiatan championship kemarin. Jadi anak-anak sangat interest untuk mengikuti championship karena ada beberapa lomba yang mengikut sertakan orang tua. Contohnya lomba menyanyi dan lomba menari. Ya. Penting sekali dan punya urgensi supaya Tidak hanya anak dengan sekolah, tapi orang tua juga punya engagement, masih merasa terlibat bahwa kita ini orang tua dan sekolah punya kolaborasi, punya tujuan yang sama supaya anak-anak tetap dapat pendidikan yang terbaik walaupun online learning. Ketika online seperti ini juga anak belajar di rumah, orang tua juga peranannya mungkin lebih besar gitu. Jadi kita juga dalam monitor perkembangan anak juga mungkin perlu tahu ya maksudnya bagaimana mengenali bakat anak mana yang dia struggling atau kesulitan area apa dalam pelajarannya. Jadi webinar webinar yang untuk mungkin untuk pendidikan anak itu mungkin sangat sangat berguna bagi kami ya gitu. Mungkin yang satu hal lagi yang mungkin bagus juga adalah uh, mungkin secara berkala ada uh, parent teacher meeting ya mungkin itu sudah dilakukan juga sih sebenarnya jadi di situ uh, kita bisa lebih uh, memberikan feedback feedback gitu misalnya apa aja yang uh, bisa diperbaiki gitu in the midst of online learning process schools are also thinking about other critical things related to reopening school reopening standards 
policies and procedures are formulated by the head office and disseminated to Kinderfield Highfield schools. The school is taking steps to ensure that preparations for school reopening are carried out carefully and thoroughly. Each Kinderfield Highfield school prepares school infrastructure and facilities to meet the standard health procedures set by the government. Health protocols are also implemented in every Kinderfield Highfield school, even though face-to-face -face learning activities are yet to be held. As the months have passed, the COVID-19 pandemic continues and there is no sign that it will be resolved soon. However, it seems that the school, parents and students have become more adapted to the existing conditions. From the situations that occur, we all learn that life must go on and we must not give up on challenges. New skills and things are learned during these challenging times. Creativity increases, and many positive and productive things can be done, even in unfavorable conditions. The pandemic has not prevented Kinderfield Highfield from celebrating its 21st anniversary. Ya, selamat sore saya ucapkan kepada seluruh peserta yang sudah hadir. So last year was Kinderfield Highfield 21st anniversary and we want to dedicate that moment to show our care for and gratitude to our school community by conducting the anniversary event. So even though we are in the midst of COVID-19 uh, pandemic, we want to cheer up parents and students through the celebration. We are proud of our students who can embrace the new normal of learning and also parents, even though in the times of struggle, they still give their best for their child's education. So we believe that the anniversary event as well as the Kinderfield Highfield Championship have strengthened the bone among our school community. The series of quality events are held for five weeks and attract high enthusiasm from the Kinderfield family and the public. Ya manfaatnya lebih ya ini sih ya kita kan udah lama juga pastinya di rumah aja nggak ketemu jadi mungkin itu juga bisa jadi lebih lebih tahu ya oh di sekolah oh sekolah itu lagi anniversary loh gitu kayak kemarin saya sempat dapat t-shirt dari sekolah gitu kan sebagai hadiah ini oh oh hai filter kita lagi anniversary ya gitu <laughs> terus juga uh, untuk anak-anak juga kan ada beberapa lomba gitu jadi ya mereka juga supaya nggak bosen sih gitu jadi kita juga ya lebih ini aja mis lebih mengisi gitu lebih biar lebih cheer up lah <laughs> Saya mengikuti salah satu itu yang webinar di bulan November e, mengenal gangguan belajar pada anak dan peran orang tua ya itu dari Dr. Herbowo Agung ya saya mengikuti e, saya rasa itu juga salah satu yang membantu orang orang tua untuk bagaimana mendampingi anak di rumah. Saya ingat narasumbernya bermacam-macam ya Miss dari berbagai bidang ilmu seru banget gitu jadi. Manfaatnya sih kita bisa banyak dapat insight atau knowledge dari tidak hanya hal-hal yang terbatas dengan pendidikan tapi juga kesehatan dari expertise dari dokter terus narasumber yang berhubungan dengan hobi seperti itu waktu itu desainer rumah jadi idenya menurut saya brilian dan unik. The success of this celebration indicates that the activities the school has been doing so far provide meaningful and relevant experiences for students and parents. The involvement of parents in every activity that is held also creates feelings of emotion and pride. Other relevant school activities such as field trips, charity day, special celebrations, and the championship are also conducted with high excitement.
So far, all of the virtual events uh, or activities the school held were very fine. All of them were conducted and ran very well. They were also engaging and very fun. Some examples of virtual events and activities I have attended so far are virtual field trips like to the Louvre Museum in Paris or to with Google Earth to Chani Borobudur and other things. We also have a university press conference, Valentine's Day, Cartoonist Day. They were all very exciting. I I like Christmas activity because I can get a present from Kinderfield. Um, other events are just uh, e-championship. Uh, I actually kind of enjoyed that because uh, I won uh, with my group the uh, debate competition alongside Tinta and Echa, so that was pretty fun. Oh, and the news. Uh, I like science experiments. It's super cool. The enthusiasm of students and parents in participating in these events seem to get rid of all existing limitations. We are getting more confident that there are so many things that can be done and provide meaning and benefits even though we don't meet face to face. <laughs> At the time this film was made, countries in the world were administrating the COVID-19 vaccine as well as in Indonesia. Kinderfield Highfield School teachers and staff have started getting vaccine injections in their respective school domicile areas. The hope that maybe soon the teachers will meet the students in person and the students meet face to face with their peers is always on the minds of the educators. Yeah, how I wish that uh, this pandemic will be over soon. So I miss greeting the students in the morning and seeing their lovely faces. That is uh, what I really most I really miss the most. So everyone at school is looking forward to see the students face to face. Of course, I'm uh, very excited to to see the students. I wish I can see them again. Uh, the thing that I miss most about our face to face learning is seeing the students um, learning in class and. I, I love doing my observation in the class to see the interaction between students and teacher and I wish to be able to do that again. Of course, I'm really looking forward to meet my students. I really miss their laugh. Then I really miss their curiosity when they don't know about something. I really miss the precious time that I usually spend during recess time with my students. They are usually more open to any kind of talk during business time. They share their feelings, their thoughts, their ideas, their stories, and their experiences. This situation can develop a good relation between teachers and students. And a good relation will uh, create trust. By having that trust, it will be easier for me to insert another uh, important life lesson, which is attitude, how to be. that everything will go back to normal. So online learning went well, but the students being at school, socializing and meeting their friends every day is really a different thing. So since all the teachers and staff of Kinderfield Highfield Schools have been vaccinated, and uh, with the continuous observance of COVID-19 protocol of our institution, we are more uh, confident that we could be able, we could deliver the face-to-face -face learning safely to our students. So we hope by that, uh, doing these precautionary measures, of course, following the COVID-19 protocols, our students and parents would be at ease when, the, you know, when they are at school. Well, after getting a vaccination, I hope things will get better. Especially, I hope that we can hold the school in offline 
so that we can have a more interaction with parents, teachers, and also students. So my hope is after vaccine is given to all of our uh, our teachers and staff, our immunity will be better. So we can avoid the coronavirus and we can return back to school as normal as we had before. Uh, of course, we are happy and we are thankful to our government uh, because we already got the vaccine and hopefully uh, in the more coming future, we are healthier and also we can do non-virtual learning. I wish we can have offline learning as soon as possible and hopefully the student will get vaccinated as well so both of the children and teacher can have offline learning software. Yeah. The battle is not over yet. We still need to be more disciplined to protect ourselves and others around us. I really hope that this pandemic will be over soon. Can't wait to meet you kids. I miss you. There is hope that this pandemic will end soon and leave unforgettable memories that have taught many valuable lessons in our lives. I really miss studying together in the classroom, discussing things directly, joking around on lunchtime, on recess time, I miss them when I was playing in the playground with them. When this pandemic ends, I want to go back to school again and have a vacation with my family. I just hope that everyone is safe and okay. And I also hope that everyone will uh, well and can pursue uh, their wants uh, and goals uh, that has been disturbed due to the pandemic. Uh, traveling or doing something fun or doing something productive for yourself or others. In time, we will meet again, stand face to face, laugh together, and experience firsthand so much that can be seen and learned. COVID-19 pandemic, you will be history.